Um, we're gonna go ahead and start off. I'll go ahead and start off with the with the questions, and then um, I'll take a couple questions here that I wrote down, and then after that, I will do a uh, questions from the comment section. Okay. My first question, Scott, is uh, what do you think of Chinese leader uh, signing new rules gov governing new war on on June? I believe it was June 15 for the military operations. It sounds like Russian special military operation. I assume you're talking about uh, China preparing for potential conflict with Taiwan? Yes. Look, the Chinese have made it clear that uh, they have a red line. Uh, just like Russia made it clear they had a red line. Um, and I, I believe the Chinese are cut from the same piece of cloth as the Russians, meaning they don't bluff. Uh, they don't overplay their hand. They don't try to, um, you know, do, you know, pretend to be something they're not. Um, the Chinese have said from day one that they, they seek a peaceful reunification with Taiwan, um, that they view Taiwan as an integral part of China. You know, the American policy recognizes that with the one China policy, um, but that they, they, they won't brook uh, Taiwanese independence and they won't uh, tolerate any nation that promotes Taiwanese independence. Um, and that if Taiwan chooses to go down the path of independence, or nations seek to treat China or Taiwan as, a, as an independent nation, that they will use non-peaceful means. That means war, it means war. Um, I, I've spoken with uh, some senior Chinese uh, officials and I've read stuff from others and they made it clear uh, a war would be a defeat for China. They don't wanna go to war. Uh, you know, what they hope to uh, gain by incorporating Taiwan is you know, a, a great economic boost. Taiwan is a, is a nation that's, uh, you know, known for its, um, you know, computer chip manufacturing. It's, uh, you know, it's electronics industry. Uh, it, it has a solid industrial base. It has a well-educated population. Uh, it's stable. Uh, and China wants all of this. So they said, you know, we would like to incorporate Taiwan uh, into you know, overall our, our political control, but we would treat Taiwan as a special case, as a, you know, it, it would be able to continue, uh, you know, governing and living the way they do now. It just that they would put up the Chinese flag, not the Taiwanese flag. Um, apparently that's not good enough for some people. And um, I think the the, the Chinese, uh, you know, people have always said, well, China won't, won't attack. Uh, they won't, they won't do this because it, it, they can't do it. They don't have the amphibious capability, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. China's going to attack Taiwan. And I think it's going to be sooner rather than later. Why do I say that? Because the level of Chinese rhetoric is unprecedented. I mean, when you have the Chinese ambassador give an interview in the United, the ambassador of the United States give an interview in the United States on January 28th, and he says that if the United States continues uh, to behave the way it is with Taiwan, um, our two nations will go to war. I mean, this is the Chinese ambassador basically telling the American people, we're going to go to war with you. Now, uh, Chinese ambassadors don't have a tendency to talk without <laughs> being getting their words approved ahead of time. So that was the Chinese government speaking. And if anybody had any doubt, then one only needs to understand that, you know, uh, one of the senior Chinese diplomats, uh, the equivalent of our national security advisor, called Jake Sullivan, our national security advisor, and told him straight up, shut up. Stop talking. Every word you say about Taiwan only makes the situation worse. If you want to go to war, keep running your mouth because you're doing a good job. Um, and then their foreign minister did the same thing after Joe Biden uh, speaking in Japan, I believe, um, answering a question that said, if China attacks Taiwan, what will America do? He said, America will come to the defense of Taiwan, which blows out of the water decades of strategic ambiguity. Uh, where we weren't committing to the defense of Taiwan because Taiwan's not a sovereign state. Um, and China said, whoa, if that's your policy, understand we will blow you to smithereens. That's what the Chinese defense minister said to Lloyd Austin, our secretary of defense, straight to his face. We will blow you to smithereens. I mean, what does China have to do uh, short of actually going to war to convince us that they're serious about this? They're not bluffing. And if we continue to behave the way we are right now, there will be a war. So what you're seeing China do is making the preparations necessary for a conflict. 
And I think the Chinese lesson from uh, Ukraine is uh, act, <laughs> coming big, coming strong, get it over. Um, don't drag this thing out. There won't be a special military operation. They're going to come in hard. They're going to take it. And, you know, so be it. Um, in the United States, there's literally nothing we can do to stop them. Nothing. Uh, the Chinese have area denial uh, missiles that will sink any ship the U.S. puts close to Taiwan. Uh, we won't get any aircraft near there. Um, and, and we know this. We've been running war games about Taiwan for years, and we lose every one. Every time we, we, we war game it out, we always lose. And I believe we have an unrealistic appreciation for what China is going to do, meaning somehow we think that we're going to be able to communicate, we're going to have intelligence and all that. Uh, pro hint, China's going to shoot down every satellite we have just from the start. They're going to shoot them all down. And you take satellites out of the equation uh, of the American military doctrine where we have, you know, complete spectrum dominance. Uh, well, we can only have that dominance because we have satellites that give us interconnectivity for everything. When the satellites go, we shut down. We don't operate. China knows this. So on hour one, all satellites get shot out of the sky. You know what? Russia is going to do the same thing if they ever fight. You know, I don't understand why people don't get it that these nations have been studying us for decades. They know what our vulnerabilities are, and they're not going to play fair. Uh, they're going to shut everything down, and then they're going to come at us as hard as they can. Um, that's the reality. So, yeah, that's what I see what China's doing. They're getting ready for war. Believe me, they would prefer not to go to war. China makes its money off of its economy, off of uh, its economic uh interaction with the rest of the world, the Belts and Roads Initiative, trillions of dollars of investment. China doesn't want to see that investment get, you know, uh, pushed aside because of a war. But they've said that Taiwan is an existential issue for them. They will not allow it to become independent and they won't allow nations to treat Taiwan as an independent state. So um, if that's what the policy of the United States is, then there will be a war and the United States will lose that war. 